Hey guys, it's Tom Trams with another video in the Amiga as a Workstation series. This is part seven, and this is uh, basically an addendum to the previous part, talking about cam colors and what fringing actually is. I'm making this video in response to a number of you who made comments who stated that I didn't cover this particular topic in the ham video. I did try to cover it rather obliquely by stating that the colorful demo basically takes and modifies each individual red, green, and blue color component until it reaches the target color. But perhaps we may need a more visual demonstration. And for that, we will go to my desktop here. And we will go to our workstation. Open up our hard disk right here, go into our workspace and into our ham folder into our ham demonstration uh, this will be uploaded i made a couple of modifications this will be uploaded to the github shortly but one of the modifications that i made was the ability to adjust the color palette of each individual base color index you can select a particular color palette index and you can adjust each piece individually and see the effects of what happens to each color component as each piece is adjusted. Very useful, I think, but it helps to really show dynamically what is happening with the graphics hardware as colors are being adjusted and the like. So let me go ahead, I'll pull all these back to black here. Back, 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 back. Oh boy, no, no, ah, and back. Okay, there we go. So again, you can take and select individual color components here and we can see, like say for example, we have this white right here that's being used. And if I take and flip it and change it, you can see the effect that changing each color component has on the final target color. But what happens if we place something, another base color in the middle of a number of, uh, in front of a set of colors that are being held and modified? Well, we get the effect that we know as fringing. And all this is, watch what happens here. As I place this window right here, you can see that the color here gets interrupted and changed until the end here, until a new base color is being set. And in fact, if we actually take and go back just a little bit, you can see, again, the fringing stops wherever the base color is actually set. Why is this happening? Well. If you look at the window itself, the window is being drawn with a base color. If I take and adjust this, it becomes even more obvious. So let's go ahead and make the window a different color here. You can see that the resulting fringe color is a little bit different. But it is literally just taking, you're going along, you're holding these pixels and you're moving along and all of a sudden, bam, you've got a new base color right here and it's reset everything so that the colors going over at past it are now holding, not the original color that they had in mind here when they were set here, but the color at the edge of this window border right here. Again, remember, ham modifies the pixel directly, uh, ham works on the pixel directly to the left of the one that's being held or modified. So, since this color right here is a base color, any held, modif uh, any held modified pixels right here will take on the characteristics of this base color right here. And you can see as we change, the color of this window right here changes, and the resulting colors that get held also change with it. So if you take and 
decide to build a color model where you're doing a lot of dithering and you're potentially setting the base color a number of different times uh, anytime that there's a solid color or uh, where certain things need to change and you plop one of these windows right over the top of it you're going to get these jagged fringy like effects here but I hoped that by literally showing these solid color hold modifications right here, along with uh, being able to modify these colors here, the effect of what's actually happening would actually become apparent. Because so many people have talked about what ham fringing actually is, and a lot of people get this fundamentally wrong. It's not about missing a particular color. It's about resetting the color. It's about resetting to a base color in an unexpected place where you're not expecting for it to happen. That's all this is. So with that, I hope the effects of what ham fringing is, is more apparent here. And with that, I'll also state that of course, uh, I will be, again, uh, placing the updated program on the GitHub here so that you guys can, uh, so that you guys can, can mess with it on your own time. So, until next time, guys. Have fun.